what for squats? So squatting, Yep. Like then that. some more squatting. Coming out of the gate hot, hitting a set of 20, followed up by three by 10 with 90 seconds rest between sets. I didn't tell you that yesterday. <laughs> All right, good morning. Grand opening of Hard Work Pays Off Gym. Yesterday's not like, was not the grand opening. We just got, we were able to sneak in beforehand. We have Logan. We are headed to the gym now to train with Rob Kearney. I think he just deadlifted like nine something at uh, the Arnold and he's like in crazy shape. Um, so we're gonna work out with him. I'm like really excited for this, but I'm also, I felt like I got in a car accident yesterday after that training session. I have not felt sore like this from training in a long time, but whatever, whatever, we're gonna fucking do it. And it's very surreal that Josh is here working. Um, when the pandemic hit, him and I, we were going through some tough times and I started training at his, in his garage. And um, this was back in College Station, Texas. And then I was like, I divorced my wife. And at the time, it was now my ex-wife. And I was like, all right, later, Josh. And I went to Austin. Um, and then, you know, the YouTube channel started taking off and my career started going. Fast forward a little bit, and Josh is now like, you know, he's a big uh, employee for Hard Work Pays Off, and he's a really, really good CrossFitter. So it's just wild seeing people from earlier places in your life also take off and do their own thing. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Telly, and we are here in none other than Burlington, Vermont. Make sure you get quick zooms while it's Burlington, Vermont. <laughs> I'm going right now over to Matt Fraser's. He's absolutely goaded with the sauce when it comes to CrossFit. We're going to go over there and we're going to absolutely throw down. What's up, YouTube? Good morning, Matt. What's happening, dude? How are you? How you doing? Good to see you. You doing great? How you doing, Logan? I think I find that like the best kitted out CrossFit gym is gonna be the best gym. That says all that needs to be said about like the efficacy of CrossFit and bringing these movements to the masses that are really incredibly valuable movements. That's why I'll always defend CrossFit for that. What's up? Good? So what are we doing today? So squatting. Yep. And then some more squatting. Yep. <laughs> then some sumo deadlifts. Cool. And then some accessories. What for squats? So the first thing we're doing coming out of the gate hot, hitting a set of 20. Followed up by three by 10 with 90 seconds rest between sets. I didn't tell you that yesterday. <laughs> so, so th but here's the thing, man. Everyone hears high volume and, and low rest and they're like, they're, they're like, no, you can't do that. We're, we're strength athletes. But it's like, that's your sport is like endurance. Like you have to be able to, you have multiple events. Some of your events like, don't you guys squat for reps or deadlift for reps yep. yeah. all the time? Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So we got 20 rep squat, three by 10 squat, yep. and then uh, four by 10 sumo deadlift, 90 seconds rest between sets. As okay. Well. I'm so down, man. It's gonna suck. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you sure you don't want to squat on my rack? I don't think I can. Oh, okay. I could probably press. Pull up, maybe? Yeah, pull up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are those, though? Like uh, recovery. Yeah. 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 You got it. Yeah. Let me know when it's loading. Okay, all right. Sit 
Santa? Oh! If Rob pushes me and bullies me, I should hit a certain number. If he does his job and bullies me. Just do it. He has to. I have this mindset around squats where it's like the moment I start to get frustrated with them where like I know I can lift heavy but I got the bar on my back and it just feels shitty and my low back is hurting I take a big step back and I try and think of it in a different way okay. like I'm trying to get a leg pump like a bodybuilder would okay what would a bodybuilder do keep his chest really upright and get really low yep. and just relax and just try to feel his quads working. Yeah. Just try and control. I find my mindset is completely different than when I'm squatting. It's like not positioning better. Yeah, yeah. And uh, bodybuilders like know what the fuck they're doing. Like they, they, they deserve a lot of shit. I think. Yes. But if there's one group that knows their body the most, it's bodybuilders, right? Yeah. It starts to get real for Rob. I don't want to. I don't want him to talk. I want him to actually breathe. But he's now using the same way to do set of 10, 90 seconds off, set of 10, 90 seconds off, set of 10. So he's basically doing like a CrossFit workout right here. Like seriously. What are you doing right now? One every 30 seconds for six sets, two minute rest, and we're doing that five different times. So it's 25 minute pieces, 30 reps to snatch. Five. Oh. 
So y'all are doing singles now? Yeah, so we're gonna do three singles to build up to something heavy. Beep, beep, beep. Go ahead, go ahead. Is there a Let's go, Zach, come on. Fifteen. Celebrate. <laughs> Take the belts off. Lay down. <coughs> Whoa. I'd be so sad if I threw up my Dunkin' Donuts on these crisp new floors. I would never. That was fucking miserable. Yeah. I'm not doing the three by ten. Okay, that was it's a different workout for me. Rob! I'm not doing the three by ten, bro. <laughs> it's a different workout for me. <laughs> what I just did was way different than what you just did. Yeah, I would, I would say the stimulus was a little different. A little I don't bit. know if it was quite the same. <coughs> you gonna make it? Yeah. Eventually. All right. I'm not gonna throw up on here, but I feel the yeah. like friend lung kind of. Yeah. Wild. Oh my god. It's a lot of reps. I got off the bar. I'm like, oh, my heart rate's not high. Thirty seconds later. Ooh. Yeah. That's the problem with that is it kind of slowly climbs with the bar in your back, and then you're done. Your body catches up to what you just did. Yes. Yeah. Dude, that's gotta be, that's a strongman thing too. Oh yeah. Like five minutes later after you do a it's, fucking yoke walk. Oh, yoke is fun, because I get done with that in like 10 seconds. Medleys, so like carrying those medleys, they're tough when you're in it, and then you're done. It's like about 90 seconds to three minutes after, it just like hits you like a fucking wall. How long does it take to, for you to settle, like an hour? No, like since I'm one of the smaller guys, about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Uh, the bigger guys have a tougher time. I'm gonna sumo deadlift now. I will, I'll, I'll do that with you. Six. Oh! Oh! Look at that front. Work front smarter, front. not harder. Oh, you're right. 
There's such a big difference between the eccentrics. I can't, I cannot, I cannot explain it enough. Bro, I'm not, I'm not in good shape right now. I'm feeling loose. So much control. It's really, really awesome. Guys, I, I'm cooked. I feel, you can call me a pussy or whatever, but like, I got what I needed, man. That 20 rep back squat, like honest to God, I have like a metallic taste in my mouth after it. <laughs> and uh, that was, that was crazy. All right, that's it. That's the video. Um, Rob, how, what was the total load for you? <laughs> so yeah, so I did 40,000 pounds of volume in under an hour. Unbelievable. So it's, we're, we're moving. It's so, it's so interesting. In the strength world, we think so much about like um, resting because especially in powerlifting and like the maximal strongman events, resting is so huge. But people conflate that, the big resting, with oh, I only have an hour, I can't have an effective workout. Yeah. Right, like you just proved that completely <laughs> wrong. I think the difference too is like, I think a lot of people get caught up in this idea of consistently having to train near maximally. Right. Right, like That I wasn't think, even close to maximal too. No, and yeah. but here's the cool thing is like, I'm gonna feel great tomorrow. Like my CNS didn't get taxed by what I did today. It was muscular fatigue, my heart rate was elevated. Um, I had to consciously focus on not vomiting for the last five minutes after right. I did that last set. But, you know, the fact of like, how my body feels now versus when I was prepping for the Arnold, right? Like, yeah, total volume in my workouts prepping for the Arnold was lower, but I'm working up to singles on deadlifts over 900 pounds multiple times a week and doing that stuff. And so like the CNS recovery wasn't there. So like I was consistently feeling like, I was related to like that hit by a truck feeling when you wake up yeah. in the morning versus like what I did today, I'll be sore, but I know I'll be able to hit another session pretty soon. So why, I, I, I kind of know the answer to this, but like why wouldn't you just train like this all the time? And I, you know, it's because you have to feel heavy weight. If you didn't have to feel heavy weight, you, would, you could train like this all the time, right? Yeah, you know, there is, there is a lot to be said about like kind of priming the CNS for those heavy loads, you know? So like, as you're warming up for squat, you know, like today, the first time I got under like the 315, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, like, this like doesn't feel super light on my back. And relatively that is a very light weight for me. Mm -hmm. But I needed to hit that to hit some reps to like remind my body that it's okay that I can do this. Yeah. Um, and then by the time I ended up going to that 335 for my working sets of, you know, 60 reps, whatever it was, it was, uh. It felt fine. You yeah, know, like I, my body was ready to turn on. I think of the CNS as like a protective mother. And you, yeah. you by warming up, you have to tell your mother to like, it's hey, okay. it's okay, I'm gonna be fine. Yeah, exactly. So that's what like the what I what I do in my back squat is like do that. Like I'm I just relax because like yes, it feels like brutal. Like I had 315 on my back and I'm supposed to squat 20, 20 pounds more than this for 20 reps. Like no way that's happening. 21. 21, yeah. So, so what I ended up doing was like taking a step back, relaxing, falling into positions, warming up that way and relaxing and then building up to it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Rob, dude, this means so much to me that, yeah, thank that you, you did man. this with me and you allowed me to train with you. Seriously. I appreciate that. It's fun, it's fun to have some training partners every once in a while. You know, like I, I predominantly train on my own. Uh, you know, so whenever we can throw down with some friends and do some new stuff, it's always a good time.
Yeah, I, I, I don't take this shit lightly. It's awesome. Seriously, it means everything to me. Thanks, brother. Yeah. Appreciate it. See you guys later. Um, subscribe. Follow uh, Rob on Instagram. The greatest <laughs> Instagram handle. World's strongest gay. Uh, follow me on Instagram, coach underscore ZT. And uh, yeah, subscribe, all that cool stuff. Dope.